all hear me? Hi, everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and share my story with you and me running for mayor of Coral Springs. Um, so I will never forget the day I decided to run for mayor. Our former mayor, Skip Campbell, passed away in October 2018, and our city decided that they were going to hold a special election on March 12, 2019. I was sitting at a Starbucks with a friend, sipping on my white chocolate mocha. Um, anybody here a fan of Starbucks? <laughs> uh, sipping on my coffee, and I realized I did not like my options. Uh, I would... The options that we did have had some ethical, they both consist of having some ethical issues. And so I made some phone calls, really talked to some friends and family to really decide if this is something I should do, which is run for office. So the next question I asked myself was, to lead or not to lead? And at that moment, I decided to lead. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nancy Mateer and I am a proud resident of Coral Springs, Florida. My family and I have lived there for over 20 years. I am a Florida A&M University graduate. Woo, any Rattlers in the house? And I am a Johns Hopkins University graduate. I am the first in my family to receive a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. I have 10 years worth of public service experience. I've served at the White House, the Florida House of Representatives, US Senate, National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, and I'm currently the Climate Justice Program Manager for a nonprofit called The Florida Majority, where I lead the organization's climate portfolio. I, thank you. <laughs> and I lead with all of that simply because throughout the campaign trail, I was constantly questioned about my experience. I decided to run for mayor of Coral Springs because I believe it was time for a new vision of leadership to step up. And I was the person to do that. I, I decided that it's not, we did not need to look for, we did not need to go backwards, right? And our current city is changing. Our city is growing, the demographics are shifting. Click. So our city consists of 51.1% of minorities. And currently, on our, city our city commission does not reflect that. In 2018, we elected the first African American to the commission. Yes. And I wanted to be that change. If elected mayor, I would have been the first woman mayor, the first African American mayor, and the first Haitian American mayor of that city. And so I ran on three priorities, and that was inclusive economic growth, public safety, and environmental sustainability. I knew I had challenges. I was running against three male opponents, two being former mayors, both having name recognition, and running in a special election in 2019. All of us know that our gubernatorial race last year was very exhausting. We had a recount. Thank you, Florida. <laughs> and so really engaging people again was a trial within itself. And so the challenges I faced didn't stop there. I was constantly questioned about my professional experience, always told to wait my turn. It's not your time yet. And also that, why are you doing this? You, other people with much more experience can do the, this work. But despite all of that, I ran. And we ran a successful campaign. We ran a campaign that centered community, integrity, and respect. So are you guys ready for the results? OK. These are the results. I came in second. Came in with, thank you. I came in with 28% of the votes. And my opponent came in with 38% of the votes. 
with 60 days, I was able to not only engage my residents, because everyone told me no more than 5,000 people were going to come out to vote, but 8,000 came out to vote. And 2,290 of those came to vote for me. So I leave this with you. I dare you all to challenge yourselves, take risks, and be that inspiration for people who want to run. I am Nancy Mateer, and I am the future of Coles Springs, Florida.